Hi, this video is going to summarize the structure of DNA. So we've seen this image before, and it shows us that our DNA is typically stored in the nucleus of a cell. And then we see these structures, the chromosomes, where this DNA is coiled and supercoiled into the structure. We call the X mark is actually um, a chromosome and its ident identical copy attached to it. So if we were to uncoil the DNA um, and look closer at it, we'll see this double helix shape that we've uh, referred to in the past. And of course, um, we know that different segments are going to be the different genes. And then we zoom in even closer, we see these uh, nitrogen bases, these A's, T, G's, and C's. Let's explore this a little further. So the double helix uh, is basically the shape of a twisted ladder. So we can see the, uh, the sides of the ladder, and we can see the rungs of the ladder. And when we look at the rungs of the ladder, we see these uh, four bases, the A, T, Gs, and Cs. And then when we look at the sides of the ladder, we see this alternating phosphate sugar structure. Now, the subunit of DNA is actually these nucleotides. And so one nucleotide is a phosphate attached to a sugar attached to one of the bases. The sugar is actually called deoxyribose, and then it can be attached to one of the four bases, either A, adenine, T, thymine, G, guanine, or C, cytosine. And so if we were to look at this double helix structure again, uh, the uh, backbone, the sugar phosphate alternating backbone, gives this molecule its stable structure. And then the rungs of the ladders, the A, T, Gs, and Cs, is actually where the information is stored. And we see that the A is complementary to T. So A matches with T, while G matches with, or is complementary to C. So A, T, G, C. And the order of the bases is actually how the information is stored. So if we look at this left side of this molecule, A, C, T, G, that sequence um, would be one of the alleles. And if you were to uh, switch the sequence, maybe A, A, T, C, then that would be a different allele. So the order of these nitrogen bases gives us the information to uh, create our body. And it's changing the sequence would change the allele, which of course would change the trait. So hopefully that made sense. Thank you.